Hey guys, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm back with part two of using Excel spreadsheet templates for a merit increase program. And so if you haven't seen the part one video yet, um, I'll link to that if you wanna watch that first. That one is going over um, the first part of the spreadsheet template here, um, which is to help with conducting an actual merit increase program. And so that video goes into um, how to use the template, how to, how to determine the merit increases. So now we're going into part two, which happens after the merit increases have been determined and you want to do some breakout of different analysis of um, a couple things. There's the job, the department and job analysis, and also the gender analysis. And these two are kind of combined into one file. So I'm just going over it all together. So, um, so basically if you use the, um, the merit template covered in part one, it includes these pages, the rating spreadsheet, the merit increase detail, a matrix, um, aligning it with your salary ranges. And then part two is covering um, the other pages that you see here on the bottom, which is taking all the information that was entered for the merit increase details and summarizing it by department, job. Basically, you enter the detail information and the charts will populate with your summaries. Um, all that you really have to do to get the second part to work for you is um, enter your department names for the job page. You're going to enter the specific job titles you want summarized. And even if you already have completed the merit program, you would just need to copy and paste the information into the template. And then that way it can pull from the department and title and pull in all of your um, information. So I'm gonna go over what is covered in each of these pages. We have different summary pages that will link back to that merit detail page. So this one is a department. Um, you would just enter the departments here exactly as they are entered right here in the department column. So. Um, you would just match up everything that is listed out in the details page. You would put the department names here and they have to be spelled exactly the same in order to link. So then once you do that, it's going to pull in the current total base, the, the increased budget for per each department, actual base salary after the increase, actual increase amount, and then also under over budget. So everything here is showing over because um, that's probably because I changed the budget to 3% and then we're giving everybody um, above 3%. So if I were to change that back to 5%, then we're not in the red anymore. <laughs> and, and then now it's only considering a couple of departments that are over their budget for their department. And then scrolling right, it's just going to give counts. So it's going to show, you know, 24 employees, 21 are receiving an increase, three are not out of um, all of them are eligible. So you would want to look into maybe, okay, why are these three not receiving an increase? The average increase percentage per department, maybe one department is a lot higher than others. And then we can also look at the number of increases over 10%. So HR is giving out, you know, four people are getting over 10%. Maybe that's something to review. Number of new salaries over a certain amount. You can edit these two numbers. So if you wanna see a, a count of everybody over 5%, or maybe you just wanna see how many are over 20%, nobody then you can edit that and it will update. You can also edit the new salary. So maybe you just wanna see, is anybody over this amount? Well, there's two people in West region. So that kind of um, 
flags that out. And then you can go back and probably filter for the, that information in the detail page. But this is just giving a summary. Average increase amount per department, uh, highest increase percentage. So what's the highest? Um, what's the highest amount of the increase? That's in West region again. And then the lowest increase percentage. Then if we continue scrolling, we're going to have the same type of stats, but broken out per uh, male and female. And count of those with no increase out of those who are eligible. So it's just flagging, okay, these people are eligible, but they're not getting an increase. So kind of um, just seeing why that is. And then we also have summary by job. This is going to be where you, you need to enter the exact job title that you want to, to view information for based on column I in the details page. So we're going to need it to match exactly. And then it will pull the, that information so you can see uh, per title, the counts of increases, the average increase, the same information on department, except we're looking at per job title. So, you know, four people in this job title are getting over 10% or maybe the lowest or highest percentages and also a breakdown of the male, female um, percentages of averages and percentage of increase. And then if we keep scrolling, there's also charts. This information will all fill out um, based on the merit increase detail and populating the job title and well populating the department. Um, the department charts are based on department information you enter here. So it's basically summarizing that information in that page into some different charts to show the total increases, average by department and male, female percentages totals. Um, then there's also a gender analysis. It's going to look at the, the breakdown increases, headcount, um, not receiving an increase. And then it's also breaking down into region, the same information, really a lot of information that it's going to plug in, uh, for you. Um, you just have to do the merit details page and then populate which departments and, and titles. There's also um, the totals by the title and it's going to show all of that by, by title. So if there's certain titles that you want to review, I believe it goes down to all, um, all titles that you're able to enter in the summary by job, which is 20 different titles that you could, you could do this analysis for. And then the job, the job charts, um, the first 10 jobs. Um, so it's going to list all 10 jobs together. Um, so you can see, um, how the jobs compare. So that'll show 10 at a time. So this will show the second 10 jobs that you have listed in that summary by job page. Um, so that will show you averages and total increases per job title is where this page will show several summaries um, with one job. So one job title engineer and then the total population receiving male and female. Those are all the summary pages that you can get with the merit increase template. So kind of two different things that can be broken out. If you already have your um, merit increase program, you could just plug in the information in this page and then it will, um, then it will populate the summary of what was received. So the first part is kind of during the program to facilitate the merit increases. And then the summary pages are for after the program to see a bird's eye view of what was given and how that worked out. So um, I hope this helps explain how the template works. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment or reach out. And if you'd like a copy of the template, 
you can go to timesavingtemplates.com, look for the HR spreadsheets section, and there you will find the merit annual merit increase with options to select the um, merit analysis as well. And um, I'll link to the actual template as well. That'd probably be easier. And we also have a free comp metrics cheat sheet um, that goes over comp ratio and some of those other metrics specific for comp uh, for compensation. And you can get that at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and click on the comp HR compensation uh, freebie cheat sheet to get that. So until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time with our pre-made spreadsheet templates. So uh, thanks again. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you.